My regular setup looks a little rough right now, so I decided for something different, I'm gonna record in front of one of my backdrops. This video was formed in front of a live ostrich. Shallow Pools released their debut album, I think about it all the time, a week ago. I am so behind on getting this video out, I am so sorry. But here are my thoughts. Nightmare. This song is such a different direction for Shallow Pools and I love it. Shallow Pools alt pop era when? I need more of this sound from Shallow Pools in my life. Do I know what I could be the ghost you look for but I'm always out of reach means? No. <laughs> Going all the signs, I don't think you realize I'm the fog that's rolling in I don't think you realize I'm the fog that's rolling in You know me, I gotta make everything about Cemetery Sun anyway I love seeing women in music write about their experiences of being women in music We need more of this And by that I mean I probably should find more of it Because I'm sure it's out there Say what you want Oh my god, guys, I had a joke and I forgot to say it. It's kind of ironic that the first song on this album says took notes from the devil and then the second song says you're calling me the devil. I wonder why! Lesbianism. Not exactly lesbianism. This can apply to anyone who's LGBT, but in my case, lesbianism. I want, I don't have to apologize for being myself tattooed on my forehead. It would be ironic because I'm constantly apologizing for being myself, but that's not the point. This song is so dancey. The bridge? Like, are you kidding me? I can't dance, but this is so dancey. It's such a jam. I'm not normally one who likes instrumental bridges only because when I cover songs, I'm awkward and I just stand there like... But it's just, it's so groovy. I want to scream this song at a concert. Shallow Pools Albany when i actually did plan on covering this song it was just one of those songs where it's like when i get a lot of songs and i'm like i want to cover these i end up covering like none of them because i get overwhelmed with this huge list and then i just scrap it all my my notes for this song say glennis's vocals in the chorus glennis brennan the woman that you are this is the song there's at least one of these songs on every one of these albums that i've reviewed i think so far that it's like i relate to this very heavily but why do you relate to it why did you write this why did you feel these feelings i don't want you to feel like that especially the pre-chorus i've been telling everybody not to worry about me but i know what they see what the fuck I feel like this might be my least favorite song on the album. I don't have a lot of notes on it. I expected it to be more of like a ballad. And I also think the intro sounds like circles a little bit. Maybe I'm wrong. Hold on, maybe I should listen to both intros back to back before I make this claim. Never mind, I'm wrong. I don't know where I got that from. It sounds familiar though. Maybe it's not Circles, but, but I don't think it's another Shallow Pool song. Maybe it just reminded me of Circles, but they don't sound anything alike. I, I remember the first time I listened to this song so specifically. It was during my typography class. It was like I had just found out that they released it. I like, I don't remember if it was a work day in that class or not. It was, I think, because I like listened to it on repeat or something. Maybe I don't remember it as specifically as I thought I did. My favorite part of this song is like the... I wouldn't say it's a pre-chorus because it like, it ends the first verse but then the second verse starts and it does it again. Like everyone talks about the chorus, how it goes, no one comes close. To you. But why is no one talking about long roads and lost souls? I'm losing hope. Glenna spread in the woman that you are. They did an open verse challenge for this song, and mine fucking sucked. <laughs> Here's the thing: the bands that I'm a fan of are smaller bands, so I worry that they'll post an open verse challenge and nobody will do it. But I'm not a songwriter. Of course, I've never been in a relationship, so <laughs> writing an open verse challenge for a love song was already like. I was doomed from the start. I wrote it about being a fangirl because I'm painfully single. I cannot hear what Glynis says after I hope you know in the chorus. I know the lyric is I keep on running, but what I hear is a running, a running. I kind of sleep on this song, and I don't know why, because it's fun to sing and it's a bop. I listen to it more now that the album's out, but I've just, I don't want to say I've never listened to it, but I just, it hasn't been in my regular rotation or anything. The post-chorus makes me so happy.
voice is a little rough today, but I mean that's so pretty Dead end. I actually have less notes about dead ends than I do glass house But I like it more than glass house So it'd be like probably my second least favorite on the album and I wrote that the chorus reminds me of another song But I don't know what it is, but I found it out this morning closer by Tegan and Sarah I'll play them back to back and you guys can tell me if you think they sound similar All we got. This song gives me a very specific feeling and I just can't describe it 2010s pop music dancing in a music video with your arms like this, you know like that one kind of dance <laughs> It's like, it's like a compilation of moments of you just like having fun with your friends as if I had any of those I don't know how to describe this feeling, but it's just like Surprisingly, I don't have a lot of notes on this song, but this is one of my favorites on the album. Before It All Falls Apart would have also been a really cool name for this album. I feel like this is like Now or Never's sister song. Does that make sense? Like, they're both kind of, you know, we don't have forever before it all falls apart. Like, I don't know. They just, I feel like they tie into each other. I have never heard a song that describes this feeling so well. Sometimes before big events in my life, like concerts and stuff, I get like kind of anxiety because it's like, I have nothing to look forward to after this. You want to live in the moment, but just knowing that that's it and you don't have anything else to look forward to after that, I mean like regular mundane type of stuff. Like I have my vocal lessons every week and I look forward to those, but it's not like a big event. The sadness you feel afterwards hits you like a Bus, and this song describes that feeling so well. I didn't discuss this with the previous singles, but one thing the Shallow Fools loves to do is just drop singles. Like, no teasing, no announcing that they're gonna release it. They're just like, hey, we have a new song out. And they do, they... I didn't mention this with some of the other singles on this album because they've probably done this for a majority of the singles. But one thing the Shallow Fools loves to do is just drop singles out of nowhere. No teasing the song, no announcing that they're gonna release it, just, hey, we have a song out. I literally lost my train of thought right after I said this, but what I was gonna say is, honestly, I think this is more fun. Dropping a single completely out of nowhere instead of hyping it up, anticipating it. I talk about this in my next video, but I know with like things like TikTok and current ways of promoting music nowadays, sometimes you wanna hype up a single, but I really think it's fun to just drop one out of nowhere. Oh my god, like the Glimmer song. No, I think that one's called Not Good at Goodbyes. It is. Damn it. Ruined joke. But Shallow Pools and Glimmers would be a dope tour. I feel like the chorus is kind of giving Taylor Swift a little bit. Kind of with like the, like the airy vocals kind of part. Now it feels like it. I don't even know why. Like, I don't know. That feels very Taylor Swift to me. This song is my favorite on the album. The way that the chorus goes a little harder the second time, I was not expecting that. I expected it to be like a fully acoustic, not as hard of a song. It caught me off guard and I'm so glad it did. The background vocals, the harmonies, this is just such an amazing song. And I think it was the perfect way to wrap up the album. Final thoughts, I will give this album an 8 out of 10. The first time I listened to it, there were more songs that I didn't vibe with than songs that I did, but it's grown on me, so that's why I docked it a couple points. I love the album cover. I'm a little surprised that they didn't name drop the album anywhere. For some reason, I thought they did in Now or Never. They don't. Is there a song that's not on this album where they say I think about it all the time. I don't think so and it's driving me nuts because I swear I heard Glennis sing that at one point. Anyway, go check out Shallow Pools' new album, I think about it all the time. Those were my thoughts on it. If you like this video, like it, comment down below. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button, share with your friends. I forgot my outro for a second. All that crazy, wacky, weird, amazing fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I never know how to end these things.